Hi everyone. Today I'm going to discuss protecting a workbook or a worksheet in Excel. Quite often you'll spend a lot of time developing a great spreadsheet with some very sophisticated formulas and then you have to share that spreadsheet with others within your department. Or perhaps you need uh, or perhaps you have a student worker who's going to do some data entry to a particular worksheet. Well, you're going to want to protect the formulas and perhaps some other elements within that spreadsheet, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's take this personal budget as an example. I want uh, a student worker to enter data into this blue area and perhaps put a, uh, a different number here in the monthly income. The rest of the spreadsheet, I don't want them to be able to touch. I don't want them to be able to insert rows. I don't want them to delete things. And I certainly don't want them to um, do anything with these formulas that are in the yellow, these kinds of formulas. I don't want those altered at all. So I need to protect this worksheet. Let's start out with uh, how any new worksheet begins. Let me just pop over here. When you open Excel and you open a brand new worksheet, every single cell within that worksheet is in a locked state. And you can see that by right clicking and going to Format Cells. And you'll see within this window on the Protection tab, that this cell is locked. Every cell in this entire workbook is in this locked state. And that tells me that if I turn protection on, you wouldn't be able to touch anything within the worksheet. You would just be able to view, view the worksheet. All right, so let's pop back to this one. So what I need to do is take that checkbox off of this cell and all of these cells before I protect the worksheet. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to hold my control key down so that I can also select these cells and then right click, go to, let me, um, I need to bring that up just a little bit so you can see it. Go to Format Cells, and then I'm going to uncheck that, that box next to Locked, and click OK. So now if I look at any of these Format Cells, that checkbox is off, but it's still everywhere else within this worksheet. So now I can go and protect this worksheet. And one way to do that is to go over here to the Format on the Home tab, the Format icon, and choose Protect Sheet. I can supply a password so that anyone wanting to um, unprotect this sheet would have to know the password. So I might just type in one, two, three, four, five. I don't usually do this, uh, but I'm just going to do it for this example. And now let's look here. Allow all users of this worksheet to select locked cells. Well, that's all right with me. And they can select the unlocked cells. Selecting them doesn't mean altering them. It only means selecting them. And then anything else that you might want them to do. For this example, I'm going to put Format Columns, and I'll show you why in just a second. But notice some of these others. Insert Columns, Format Rows, Format Cells. You may or may not want to turn some of these on. So I'm going to click OK. There. Now it just wants me to re-enter that password. One, two, three, four, five. And there. 
Uh, now I could save this spreadsheet and have a student worker uh, go to work. So um, the first thing I would do is probably delete this and I would delete all of this and then I would save the worksheet. So let me go ahead and save it. When the student worker receives this spreadsheet, what if they wanted to try and, and uh, delete this formula right here? That sum formula. If they press the delete key, they're going to receive this message that this is protected. But they can enter a net income and they can enter numbers in the blue area All right and if the numbers get really large well that's not large enough I guess all right this may happen in the column and that is that the column width is not large enough now do you remember that extra checkbox I had about column formatting that would allow me as a student worker or end user to modify the width of this column. If I hadn't been able to do that, I would have been left with this and I wouldn't know what those numbers were uh, unless I looked up here, but I still wouldn't be able to see the display. So I needed that ability to modify the columns. So you'll, you'll want to test your spreadsheets when you protect them. So I hope that helped. Uh, this is a very powerful feature and will protect many of the spreadsheets that you uh, develop on your own. Thank you.